to begin my new lifestyle change on being a vegan. Deciding to make my diet all vegan was kind of a eureka moment, so I didn't really have any background in veganism besides the fact that we, or they, don't eat any animal byproducts. I knew the outline, veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, all that shizzle carizzle, but I just didn't know where to start. So I watched like three videos on veganism and just stalked vegans on Instagram. Kinda got the idea, veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, and I didn't have a set out grocery list just because I'd be writing down every vegetable and fruit I knew. Plus being vegan, you kinda have to rely on the produce and what's fresh and available. So here's what I bought. Oh, I would love to start going to markets and buy my food in bulk, but it was 8 p.m. and kinda last minute. Plus Coles is great. Sponsor me. So I'm just going to start off the frozen food first just so then I can pop it back in my freezer and then fresh produce followed by packaged food. I only bought one frozen food item and they're frozen mangoes. I love frozen mangoes. These are great for smoothies, anything you want really. Just fucking chuck them and everything. And I go through heaps of them so I got like three bags. I have more at home, but I'm like running real low, so yay, frozen mangoes! I'm really weird, by the way. To the fresh produce, I have two pumpkins of raspberries, and I love raspberries. The only reason why I really got them was to do this. Fresh Manny! Blueberries. Organic dates. A kilo of nectarines. They smell so good because they're like a little overripe, but I'll just freeze them and eat like five of them today. Two pomegranates, bag of royal gala apples, five passion fruits, three lemons, oh shit, two lemons, three kiwis, oh shit, caught it, two Samoan coconuts, half a squash, that word is so weird, I just, I've been repeating it for so long. Squash, 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 squash. What? What? What are you? Bag of gold sweet potatoes. I've never had gold sweet potatoes. I've only had the... I don't really know the name, but they're purple. 500 grams of baby carrots. Helping Australia grow. Thanks, Rick Ertloff. Parsley and coriander. I forgot which one was which, so... Kale, one of the biggest superfoods in the whole world and I've never had it. I've heard that it's really bitter but I'm planning to make kale chips so that's gonna be real exciting. I'm gonna try it raw. I like it. It doesn't really taste like anything. Kind of, It's kind of like, it's kind of like baby spinach but with a Light bit of aftertaste. Pretty good. That is all the produce I bought, but if you're planning to go vegan or just buy groceries, definitely go out and buy baby spinach and lettuce and all those greens because those are gonna be your real staples. I already have those at home, so I didn't really bother, but just wanted to let you guys know. Now for the more packaged foods, first I just want to get out of the way. It was like 10 minutes till closing and I literally did not look through anything thoroughly, so I did accidentally buy things with milk and egg products in them. Dark chocolate. I just I just didn't think. I was like, yes, dark chocolate is so healthy. I'm gonna buy like heaps because I love dark chocolate. But it does have milk products in it, so I guess I'll have to give it to someone. No one I really know likes dark chocolate, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so tempted to eat it, but stay strong. Pasta. I was so disappointed because I was making pasta this morning and then I look at the ingredients and it has traces of egg. I know they sell a vegan vegetarian pasta which is like all sorts of colours. It's like green and red but I could not find that anywhere so I just grabbed this and I looked at it and I thought it didn't have any milk or egg in it but it does and I'm really 
just no. Olives, stuffed with anchovy. I just, I just skip the label altogether. Okay, now to the actual vegan food or food that I'm sure that's vegan. If they're not vegan, please tell me down below. I've tried a risotto tea once and it was, it was, yes, it was amazing. So when I saw this at Coles, I was like, yes, bitch. It's about $2.90 or so. In America, they normally sell these for like a dollar or something, but thank you, Coles. This is just the original green tea with honey. The last drinks I have here are the H2 Cocoa Coconut Waters. Now, I never thought that I'd buy these just because I always drink coconut from the actual real coconut but these are actually really interesting i got the pomegranate and acai coconut water and i got two of these but i drank one it is really different from what i was expecting i thought it was going to be like a really watered down pomegranate juice but no it's like borderline creamy because of the coconut water and the acai and pomegranate just go together really well so this is really good now the actual last drink i have here is the h2 cocoa coconut water in coffee blend and I don't really drink coffee just because I hate the aftertaste it gives me but I love the smell I love the taste of it and so I wanted to try these out and this is so good <laughs> like if you like iced coffee and you can't really drink it anymore because it's got milk in it try this out or if you just like coffee in general or just coconut water just just try this guys it is so surprisingly good it tastes just like normal iced coffee actually that's it it just tastes like normal iced coffee and because it has coconut water in it coconut water is really creamy so it kind of acts as like a milk or a creamer and just try it I've always grown up with white bread, but I'm trying to convert into the more grains and whole meals just because they're so much more healthier. And I've tried whole meal bread and grains and all that, and they're really good, so hopefully this is good too. Garlic bread. Thank God this garlic bread's vegan because I cannot live without garlic bread. When I go to get pizza, the only thing I'm excited about is a side of garlic bread. Two cans of crushed tomatoes with basil and oregano. Another two cans of whole peeled tomatoes. Creamed corn. Basil pesto, which was for my pasta, but not anymore. Organic coconut syrup. When I saw this on the shelf, I was like, yes, give me some of that creamy cocoa nectar. But when I tasted it, that was a different story. This is so surprising. It's like a really tight, almost sourish honey flavor. Okay, when I first tasted honey, I thought it was going to be some really sweet, just straight up sugar syrup. But it had like a unique taste to it, and that's kind of like this too. I really like this though. I think I could totally get used to it. Organic crunchy peanut butter. I've never had organic peanut butter, and I was really interested to try it. And it is so different from what I expected. It's like peanut, just straight up gooey, sticky peanut and it's nothing like you know your average peanut butter you guys know that talk about how peanut butter is really sticky and it like sticks to the roof of your mouth and everything well I always thought people who said that were pussies because this shit ain't sticky at all but then I tried organic peanut butter and this stuff is so sticky it literally sticks to the front of your teeth and you're like scraping that shit off Ooh. But it is so good though. It's like, it's just straight up gooey peanut goodness. And I love the look of this just because I love how the oil kind of like separates a little and it kind of gives that really, some people think it looks like vomit, but I don't know. It just looks really intriguing to me. Like, I don't know if you could see that, but it's like way more liquidy than normal peanut butter. And it's just really yummy looking to me. <laughs> if anyone has to talk about their lighting, it's me. I literally just went through like three phases right now. I'm sorry. Salted pretzels. Now who thought vegans couldn't be normal? I purchased these because I've heard from many people that these are vegan, which they are, and apparently they're really good. So I'm, um, yeah. 
let's just try them. Let's just try them out right now. The bag smells like anything. Oh, it's a pretzel. Well, I know we're gonna be friends. This just has the right texture and the right amount of salt. Like, 10-10 guys, totes get it. Oreos. Now, I've always known that Oreos were vegan and it didn't really cross my mind. I was like, yeah, okay, Oreos, vegan, great, good for them. But now I'm like, yes, Oreo, thank you. You're gonna be my base friend for like the next lifetime. We're gonna be lifetime friends and this is the commitment I'm ready to take. Okay, let's simmer down a little bit. This is the ONG Protein Crunchy Granola Cranberry and Hazelnut with Pepita Seeds and Whole Grain Oats. Basically, it's granola with a lot of good things. And I've never had granola, but literally everyone out there has granola these days in their little oatmeal bowls and their smoothie bowls. And hey, I wanna join the party too. So I got me some granola and it's really good for you. So, yeah. Wow, so that's everything I got from Coles. And 150 for all this produce is actually really good. But if you are trying to save that bit extra, then you can definitely find cheaper deals. I just went with a flow and this is what I got. I'm happy with all the prices. Coles was not my last stop. I did have some things in mind to get at Chemist Warehouse. These are just banana chips and my friend got me hooked on these. They have zero sodium, which is really good, but they probably have lots of sugar in them, which is fine. If you like banana chips, try them out. And they're really cheap too. They're like under $3. The next thing I got are these BioGlands Superfood Bites. And this is in coconut cacao and citrus and chia. I got two of each. I've tried the coconut and cacao. It literally looks like a mini lamington. It kind of tastes like one too, but without the sugar and just more dense. They're basically protein balls shaped into a square. So protein squares. These were $4, but they're on for half price, so that's why I got them. $4 is a little excessive, so I don't think I would repurchase them, but they're nice to snack on. And also, you know, you can make your own protein balls at home. The last two products for this haul are these superfood powders. I was really interested in getting these even a while ago. They're just that fun extra stuff if you want to boost your nutrients and antioxidants. And plus, I don't need that choco anymore. I have cocoa powder and I can make so many brownies and protein balls of this. And that is everything for my first vegan haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video and good luck to your vegan or non-vegan adventures.